afternoon all and visor down protect the eye we are out on this Ooh. VFR 1200 sounds good so we did MOT and service on this yesterday and all the controls are all the wrong way around it is a Honda isn't it indicators at the bottom horn is above completely the wrong way round but obviously customers uh, brought it in short service which is just an oil and filter change check the airbox and check the bike over and give it an MOT oh and great it's just started raining just what I wanted so He said, when I get into six gear, I get about 5,000 RPM, and every now and then it will stutter. Can you take it out and give it a run? Hell yes, I'll take it out and give it a run. So, Anthony's let me uh, loose on his bike. I love these. We had a VFR 750 in for MOT yesterday. And I said to him, you've got to go and look at Lockwood's channel, Lockwood 92, oh my God. Um, the sound off of that, it got a Delcovic open pipe on it and it was like, oh, the sound off that engine. Do love the sound of VFR. So, we shall get this out and have a run and try and beat the rain. <laughs> I've still got three more bikes, they've loaded me up with another three bikes to ride today, so we shall get out and ride as many bikes as we can and see how we get on. But, I am looking to forward to getting out and having a full bore run on this and uh, winding up the speed as they say and once we get up here obviously we've still got no traffic lights this has now been a week Milton Keynes Council and the Highways Department are absolutely useless one of the busiest roundabouts in Milton Keynes because obviously it's the main A5 and the start of it and it comes from Leighton Buzzard and from Woburn and from Bowbrick Hill and from Stoke Hammond and yet they still haven't sorted out the traffic lights utter diabolical and you try pulling out at rush hour when you're trying to nudge your nose out the amount of fender benders we've had up here since they've got a uh, sh shot of the traffic lights Right, let's see how we get on. I am going to give this thing some uh, welly in a minute. <laughs> and try and get back before the rain starts. Let's go, 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 go. Do love the sound of this. Right, we are away, tuck down time. Let's see what she'll do. A lot of wind noise until you get down behind the screen. And I've got to stay within my margin as well, but this thing is absolutely lethal. So we're at 4,000 RPM. No stuttering yet. Take it up. And there it was. There we go. There is a bit of stutter there. It's definitely... That is not right. There's definitely something there. But then you give it a blast and it comes off. It doesn't do it. That feels more transmission than engine. Definitely something there. Yeah. That is rattling like a bugger. But if you drop to any other gear, it doesn't do it. That is definitely something in the gearbox. It's 
not doing it in fifth at all but in six that gearbox is rattling like a bugger that is a six gear issue it's something to do with that pinion cog yeah wind it up wind it down wind it up wind it down go to six and you can feel it coming up through the gearbox yeah drop down to fifth I'm not going to uh, obviously try that anymore that is definitely a six gear issue <coughs> oh dear That was a nice little run. So it's definitely not fuel related. You can feel it coming up through the clutch lever. So it is definitely something to do with one of the cogs on the six gear. This is a job for Honda, not for us. So at least we've got it on video. We know exactly what it is. We shall head back to the garage. It does handle very well for a VFR, but it's definitely gearbox related. And it's definitely got plenty of speed there. So at least Anthony knows what it is now. He said, oh, I'm not imagining it, am I? It could be fuel, it could be... No, it's six gear between four and five and that cog is not engaging you can hear that gearbox really <laughs> and i can feel it coming up through my obviously my left foot so first second third fourth and fifth get it across the honda there is something with that six gear a cog it's not engaging properly so it could be gear selector it could be one of a hundred different things i know it's getting blustery out here now So we shall head back. I'm going to go and grab a cup of coffee because I haven't had one since about one o'clock. Obviously, I've still got two more MOTs to do. I have got my eye cover on, so I've got my visor down. So don't worry, people. So that it's all good there. But uh, obviously, I can send this to customer. Say to him, no, go and check out the YouTube. Um, if you've got any ideas, guys, if you happen to own VFRs, why would that six gear cog do that? It's obviously something that I don't get involved in gearboxes and stripping bikes right back to basics. Might be worth having a, a chat with our local gearbox guy, see what he says about it. But uh, at least we know what the issue is now. It's not fuel related, it's definitely gearbox. So it's nice just to get out and uh, have a run and obviously the customer because normally a customer knows their bike better than any garage but uh, he did say to me I don't know what it is can you have a have a run out on it and see what it will do so this thing has got a lot of poke love it but it handles very very well even uh, that wind blustering along not a problem Make sure that no car drivers pull out. But it's not doing it in any other gear apart from when you power up from six gear. So I am going to avoid six because the uh, last thing you want to do is wreck a gearbox. So test rides complete, guys. We're going to head back. Whatever you're doing, be well, ride safe. And from RB at Idiot Roundabout, it's a big goodbye from me. And just before we sign off, let's go round the roundabout and see who is in the wrong lane again. I love this roundabout. Right, come on, it's one of those electric cars. Give me some fuel, let me set the thing alight. Come on, Tessie.